Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph again with another kitchen conundrum. Does your fried chicken look like this? Dark brown on the bottom and blondish color on top? Well, I'm gonna show you how to prevent that from happening and it's a super simple trick. All you need is one of these round cooling racks into the bottom of your pot and this prevents the chicken from hitting the bottom of the pan where the direct heat is. It helps the food to stay in the middle of the fryer where the temperature is the most even. So I'm filling this pot with quality vegetable oil. Go up about two inches from the bottom of the rack. When you're deep frying, use a thermometer. So the oil's at 350 degrees. I have my chicken, it's been brining overnight in a buttermilk brine. That's the best fried chicken, a buttermilk brine. And I'm just going to dredge it into flour mixture I have here. This is a little bit of flour, some coarse cornmeal for a really great crunch, salt, pepper, and a little bit of cayenne. And now lower it very gently into the hot oil. And you can let it rest right on the rack. Whenever you're deep frying, make sure you fry in batches. Do not overcrowd the pot, otherwise the oil will overflow. For small pieces of chicken like wings and drumsticks, it's about six to seven minutes. And for the larger pieces like the breast and the thigh, nine to 10 minutes. So it's been about eight minutes. Make sure that you check your chicken and it registers 160 degrees. Transfer it to a cooling rack, set over a rimmed baking sheet to catch any excess oil. This will help keep your chicken from steaming. If you put it on a paper towel lined plate or tray, it's gonna create steam and you're gonna get a soggy bottom. And just as it comes out of the oil, sprinkle it with a little bit of flaky sea salt, that French crunchy sea salt. And there you have it, perfectly fried chicken, golden all around, no burnt spots. And it's all because you used a cooling rack in your pot. Kitchen conundrum solved. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Do you have a kitchen conundrum that you need solved? Well, if you do, write in the comments section below. And as always, click subscribe.